Hi and welcome to the Mammoth Tech Show. I'm Frankie and in today's episode we're going to be looking at some crafty tech. In particular my little Cricut Joy machine that I have and to show you it in action we're going to be making a show based project by putting our show logo onto this blank cup. <laughs> So the items that I've used to create this project are my Cricut Joy, I've got a Cricut Joy pen, we've got the mug that we want to use to put the logo onto, I've got a tape measure, I've got my tablet and I've also got some smart Cricut vinyl. Um, the Bengal in the background is not essential um, and it's debatable whether it's helpful but we'll just go with it. So the couple of things to note about the Cricut Joy over the rest of the Cricut family is the fact that it's the smallest of the machines um, and it's Bluetooth only. So you have to have a desktop or a tablet or a phone that you can connect to it via Bluetooth in order to make any project. So a couple of things to note um, about the Cricut Joy that's different from the other Cricut machines, so from the Explore and the Maker, is that the Cricut Joy is purely Bluetooth. So whatever you're using to design and make your projects, it has to be Bluetooth enabled in order to send your project to the Joy to make. So the materials that I've used today to create our project, I've of course got our blank mug as our template. I've got a tape measure so that I can measure the mug and decide what size I need our final project to be. I've got my tablet which is what I'm using to send my project to the Joy. I've got a Cricut Joy pen because we're going to be doing a mixture of drawing and cutting today. And I've also got some, a little test one which I made earlier to use to check for size. And because that is on cardstock, I had to use the mat, my little mat that came with the Cricut, with the Cricut Joy. So what I've done in order to make this project is that I imported the original pencil drawing of our mammoth and credit for that goes to our good friend Karen Mills who drew our show logo for us. I imported that into Cricut Design Space and resized it to the size that I wanted for my mug. I then drew a rectangle around it and I turned the rectangle into a cut line and then the rest of the mammoth is a draw line and the result that you get is a mammoth in the correct size rectangle that will fit on our mug. So we're not going to do it on card today. Um, the idea is that we're going to be using some writable vinyl that I've got here. So we're just going to put these bits to one side because they're not needed anymore. Um, I've also got a notepad here because it's useful to write down sizes so you don't have to keep forgetting. Um, and so yes, we've done the test cut. So now I was going to move on to doing the actual cut. So what I did with this one is because the app version of Design Space, so it doesn't matter whether you've got iOS or Android, the app version is different to the desktop version. You don't have so many features in the app. So I tend to design my projects on the desktop version, save them into the Cricut Cloud, and then I can log in on my app, on my tablet, and all of my projects um, read across and show through. So I can access my projects on any of my apps, but I've designed them on the, field, on the full desktop app. So I'm going to select my project here and it comes into this screen and I'm just going to click make it. 
because that's what I want to do. This then takes me into the screen to select what materials I want. So as I said before, I'm going to use some writable vinyl, which means I can draw on it. It's still permanent vinyl, but we can write on it. Because this is what they call smart vinyl, we don't need to use the mat. And this is something that is not specific to the Joy anymore. It was at the beginning. The later machines that they've bought out, the Explore 3 and the Maker 3, now use smart materials. Um, but the Joy uses a lot narrower because the machine is a lot smaller. And the thing with the smart materials is they have effectively got a cutting mat built into the back of the vinyl, which is how you can get away with not needing a cutting mat. And you can do long banners if you wish. We're not going to be doing that today. We're just going to be doing our, our little picture. So I can select without map from my app when I'm making it. And we can see that it's a draw and cut operation without the mat. And so we're just going to click continue. We don't need to mirror the image because we're not ironing it onto anything. So we can click continue. We get a little preview of our picture here. And then we can click continue. And it will tell me to connect. So we want to connect up to the joy and then we want to select our vinyl and because the smart vinyls are generally in the favourites, hello Zeus, we can select smart label writable vinyl because that's what we've got. So we can select that and it says gel pens and metallic markers are not recommended for this material. Now, I've never used this material before, so this is a first for me. So when you've got a mixture of drawing and cutting, if you're making cards, if you're doing anything, the app will always tell you in which order it wants you to load in your tools. So first of all, it wants me to load in my vinyl. So here we go. So we line it up and we line it in with the guides and it will always make sure whatever material you've got in that you've got enough material for your project. The other thing to note with any of the machines is you've got to leave a decent amount of space behind the machine because the material goes through the machine so you can't have the machine set right up against the wall in order to be able to make a project. So because we've got a mixture of drawing and cutting to do today, it's telling us that it would like me to load the black pen first. So normally by default, the Joy's got the blade in, so we can just unclip the clamp, take the blade out, pop our pen into the clamp and close it up. And then what you will do in order to set the project going is press go. And it will then draw the mammoth. And once it's drawn, done, the, finished doing the drawing, it will then pause and ask me to switch over to put the blade in and then it will cut our rectangle. And as I say, it's the first time I've ever used this material. So if all goes to plan, once it's finished, we will have a usable logo for our cut. So I'll press go. So the drawing has now completed, so it's now asking me to load in the blade. So you don't unload the materials or anything, you leave everything as it is. You literally just take the pen out, pop the blade in, and then press go again for the final stage.
and that's our project finished. So before you unload the materials, you can't just pull it out of the machine. You have to click unload. You do have an option on the app at this stage or on the, even on the desktop at this stage to try again or unload. And that is due to the fact that if you're doing a cutting project, sometimes it doesn't cut all the way through first time. So you can try again and it will just recut exactly the same cut. But we're finished, so we just want to unload. There we go. So now that our project has printed out, we can actually cut the vinyl off of the roll so that it's a bit easier to work with. You can see from the back of the vinyl, it hasn't cut through, um, it's just acts like a sticker. So it's just cut through the top layer of the material. But we can use this guide underneath to ensure that we cut a straight line when we're cutting the sticker off of the vinyl. So I'm going to cut it along this line here just to make sure that I am um, free from my sticker but I'm also cutting a straight line across so I'm ready for my next project. There we go, just makes it a little bit easier to work with and it means I can roll my vinyl back up and pop it back in the tube ready for my next project. So there's a couple of things that we need to do to prepare our receiving material for our project. So I'm going to take the lid off. The first thing I've done is I've put a little bit of masking tape on there so that I've got a level surface, a straight line to line my sticker up with. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of isopropyl alcohol or contact cleaner onto a cloth as we do da, 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 da. and we just want to then wipe down the area that we want to apply the sticker just to make sure that it is clean from any dirt there we go wait for that to dry off and then what we can do then is just grab hold of our vinyl find a corner of our sticker come on I should have got one of my proper weeding tools for this I suspect to get the corner up. Once we get it started, it will come up. Let's do it that way. Let's reverse weed it, take off the outside vinyl, pop that down, which just then leaves us with our sticker, which we can then hook off with my thumb. There we go. So I'm just going to peel our sticker off of the vinyl, line it up with our level line here. Because we're going onto a curved surface, you have to be a little bit careful of any bubbles. So what I'm doing is just slowly, slowly pushing the vinyl down, wiping out any bubbles with my nails as I go. It's a little bit forgiving, so if you do get bubbles, you can just lift it up and rub them out with your nails. Like so. And then what we can do is just take our levelling bit of tape off of the top. That stick down, which is just masking tape. like so, pop the lid of the mug on. Thank you for watching today's episode of the Mammoth Tech Show and me doing um, a very first crafting project using label vinyl on my Cricut um, to do a Mammoth Tech Show mug. 
If you've enjoyed it, then put a note in the comments and I'll record some of my other projects that I've got lined up. Um, if you've got any questions about the Cricut Joy, then also leave those in the comments and I'll try and answer them. I've been Frankie. Thank you for watching the Mammoth Tech Show. Oh.